Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic Survival Mode. And today, we're going to be doing something that actually came from the comments. A viewer by the name of Mike Renario asks, I wonder if you can create something that launches spinning saw blades. Now, I don't know about spinning saw blades, but the concept of just launching saw blades as at an enemy sounds like a fun thing to at least try. I know it's going to be completely impractical and not something we'll probably use regularly, but I think it would be a really fun experiment to try uh, just to see if we can set up some type of launcher mechanism that'll shoot a saw blade horizontally or vertically. I think I'm going to go with horizontally, but both could theoretically work. We're going to shoot that at some bots and see if it's actually enough to kill them. I might just do some damage to them. It might need to take a couple of shots, but I think that's going to be part of the fun of the experiment. And uh, rather than creating an entirely new vehicle for this, I think I'm going to adopt my mobile helipad here uh, just for this experiment. And we'll probably deconstruct it afterwards. But um, yeah, I think it's going to be a fun concept. Just imagine launching saw blades at a bot. That would be a really intimidating and deadly weapon for a vehicle. But uh, speaking of bots, let's go ahead and check in on Hank over here. I actually haven't checked on him on a little bit. I don't know if he's... Is Hank? Is Hank? He's still... You, Hank? Oh no. Not again. Why does this always happen? Hank? You in the house? You hanging... You, you go, having a sleep? No? Hank? Hank? Alright, well maybe... Maybe he's just off getting some milk again. You know, this always happens. Hank gets lost getting some milk and we have trouble finding him and it's just days and days before he comes back. So I think it's I think it's finally time that we all work together and we try to actually bring Hank back rather than just waiting because anything could happen to him out there, you know? All right, so we're gonna do this. I put together a campaign and by popular demand on the merch store, there is now some official Hank merch. So I am proud to announce this has been weeks in the making. Hank finally has some official merch on the store and what better way to represent Hank merch than an actual missing bot poster. Not just any missing bot poster, but a poster on the side of a carton of milk because Hank is all about the milk, you know? So there's a chance that Hank might even see this himself in his quest to get some milk. So as you can see, we get the image of Hank here on the milk carton and it says, missing Hank the hay bot, last seen getting milk. If found, please just contact me. Just let me know if you guys see Hank anywhere, we can get him back and swimming in his pool once again where he belongs in no time. So we get a couple different options here. This is a sticker, so you can put it on the back of your laptop or your tablet or whatever or anything. Uh, we also got it, since it's getting a little bit colder now, getting into the colder weather here, we got a hoodie, we got a long sleeve shirt, and we also have a premium tee. And these are all available in black, uh, bright red, or like a deep red as well. So you guys have been asking for months now for some Hank merch, and finally, we have some official Hank merch on the store. So I hope you guys are happy. Now in celebration of this new Hank merch, there is a discount that you can take advantage of this weekend only. After this weekend, it will not be available. But if you type in PUMPKIN10, in all caps, PUMPKIN and the number 10, that'll give you a 10% discount up through Sunday. And that's not just on the Hank merch, that's on anything else on the store as well. So yeah, I hope you guys are happy with the Hank merch. I'm super excited about it. I'm really glad about how it turned out. So uh, let's all do our part in helping find Hank. Anyway, though, let's get back to the video. We are building a saw blade launching vehicle to defeat our enemies with. Our enemies that would do harm to Hank while he's out getting some milk. We actually need milk. Look, our, our milk containers, it's completely empty now. All right, so I just realized I'm missing, I need wheels for this. I'm gonna use a wheel-based launcher to launch our saw blades. So it's gonna be like the friction wheel spinning things. I hope this is gonna work all right. I don't know how well the saw blades, do oh, the saw blades don't have a lot of friction. This might not get a lot of power out of it, but I don't know, there's gonna be a couple of possibilities on how we can help with that. But I need to get myself some beeswax so I can make some more wheels. All right, there we go. We got everything crafting that we can craft pretty much. So I think we're gonna be okay for the amount of wheels that we can have. So we're gonna also need to upgrade an engine. I think I luckily just got a level three engine um, out of our last warehouse run, which was pretty epic. You guys should go check that out in the last video if you haven't seen that, the last uh, survival video at least. So let's see if we can upgrade this engine to max. Um, okay, I think I have enough. Come on, yeah, all right. I got one left over. All right, let's get our wheels out of here. I crafted a bunch of saw blades as well. I think we're just gonna carry a few on me for now. How wide is a saw blade? That's a question, isn't it? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, the collision. 
Oh, okay. The collision's actually only five wide, because check this out. We go down here. Yeah, we don't- those don't actually collide. Interesting. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, good to know. All right, so I'm actually gonna get rid of the saw blades on the front of this, um, and we're gonna carve in here, because we are gonna build this into our system here. I'm just realizing that this is not gonna be centered, because this is an even with the vehicle, and saw blades are odd width, so the center of the saw blade shooting is unfortunately not gonna be right in the middle. Uh, we can also put our second engine right down here. This is going to be the saw launching engine, which we can also hook up to the same gasoline uh, gas canister, which is pretty much full anyway. Okay, so for this to work, uh, I think we're gonna need to create a pathway that it's not going to get caught in. So we need some solid walls on the side. There we go, just like that. I'm really glad that the whole middle of this vehicle is kind of hollowed out. That makes it perfect for this. There's gonna be like, I don't know if you guys ever had, as a kid, I used to have these like little disc launcher things that I think were kind of based on the same thing. And they just had these like little foam discs that would just get shot out and they would fly across the room and they were kind of awesome. I'm hoping that this is going to function in a similar way. I'm just trying to figure out where we're gonna put the wheels. Okay, so I think I want to have two wheels in each uh, section to propel them forward. I'm also going to need some from the top as well. I might need to pick up some more wheels in order to accomplish this. I forgot that I'm going to have to double up the wheels top and bottom. So yeah, unfortunately this isn't going to be centered, so I know it's gonna, it bothers me. It's probably going to bother you, but you're going to have to deal with it, unfortunately. I think I can delete this without breaking stuff. Okay, nothing seems broken. That's good. I thought my wheel, there was a chance that my wheels might just fall apart there but I think we're all good. All right, so here's the bottom set of wheels. So I'm hoping, here, let's hook this up to this engine. Let's just do a quick test to see if the saw blade will travel down these if they're spinning at a certain speed. Let's just have it at a slow speed first. All right, we'll just put this on. Oh, I gotta take this off the lift, don't I? There we go. Okay, that is not a slow speed. All right, let's slow it down a little bit more. Slowish speed. All right, are they all going forward? Oh! Well, it works on me. It definitely works on me. <laughs> Holy cow, I was not expecting that. All right, so now to get a saw blade on here, we'll just do this. Get ourselves a saw blade. We will do that. It looks like, it still looks like it's gonna hit. All right, and... Oh, this is what I was worried about right here. See, the saw blades have low friction. And that is a problem. Hmm. Hmm. All right, I'm hoping maybe when we have the pressure from the wheels on top, it'll actually make it better. It'll increase the amount of pressure and therefore friction. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just hoping for the best here. All right, what do we got? All right, we got plenty of pistons. I'm going to use some level five pistons. Uh, the pistons are gonna push the saw blade into the wheels and I'm gonna stack two of them because worst case scenario, maybe the piston pushing itself can give enough velocity. The wheels may not do that much, but I'm just hoping that it's going to help. All right, so here's what I got now. I got two pistons in here. I can actually cover up these pistons with the wood again, but just to show you the inner workings of what's happening, I press this button. You can see it pushes out pretty fast and at the same time turns the wheels on. So I'm hoping that the pistons will instill some momentum, a pretty decent momentum in the saw blades already. And then the wheels will catch it and hopefully just increase it a little bit more, even though there's not gonna be a whole lot of friction. So let's do a quick test right now. We'll place a saw blade right here. Actually, this is a terrible place to place a saw blade because now I can't easily delete the block underneath, but that seemed to work. All right, and go. All right, well, that did absolutely terrible, but maybe when we have the top wheels, it'll be a little bit better, I hope. Please, please be better. This is going terribly so far. All right, one more test. One more test. Please work. Oh, that's that was way worse. That was so much worse. All right, well, how about this? Let's actually turn the speed down on these and see how it changes things. Okay. All right, well, that wasn't so bad. So maybe there's gonna be some type of uh, ideal settings, but I think fast is what I want for now. All right, so here's the update now. I think you can see what I'm going for here. So these wheels are actually flush with the wheels at the bottom, but 
they have um, suspension on them, so they're going to have some give. But right now, I'm out of wheels, so we're going to have to go get some more beeswax to get three more wheels worth. I hope I have enough. Uh, I think I should have enough wood for that, actually, because I've taken some wood out of here to build all of this. But let's go ahead and I think... I don't know if I can actually do this method of placing the saw blade, because I can't... No, I can't, I can't delete the block when I put it down like that. I'm going to have to do it from the top, I guess. So I'm going to do a slow version for now. So the saw blade fits there perfectly. Let's go nice and slow. Uh, let's hook this up to the engine. Oh, this isn't one, two, three. I'm not going to be able to hook all these up. Am I going to be able to hook all these up? How many connections? I didn't even count how many connections this is. Oh, I can hook all these up. Fantastic. All right, you know what? Let's actually try. I moved one of the wheels from here over to here. So now there is a wheel on all three of these. And that might make it a viable test. All right, saw blade is installed. Now let's see what happens. In three, two, one, push. Yeah, look at that. There's just no... Wait, are they even all going the right way? Uh, nope. Those are actually... These are all going the wrong way. That is why. That is why. All right, but that is still... Oh, the saw blade's actually spinning. Good thing it doesn't do damage, huh? All right, so I'm gonna try something a little bit ridiculous here. I'm going to put, um, I'm gonna put blocks on the top of this. Cause I'm thinking maybe the blocks will catch friction from the top and we're gonna have like a, I don't even know if it's gonna get through here, but let's see what happens. All right, and go. Okay, something happened. I don't know if it's something that needs to happen or not, but we definitely catch more friction. You know what we might need to do? I, if these saw blades can't work, I could make like a fake saw blade out of actual blocks with friction and see if we can do that as a backup test instead. Because obviously the experiment with the saw blades right now is showing that this might not be the best thing. All right, what if I close the saw blade in like that? Maybe that'll prevent that from happening again. All right, three, two, one, go. Whoa. That was our first sign of promise. Oh, look at it fall like a coin. That's kind of cool. I've never seen that happen with a saw blade before. All right, let's go out and get some more beeswax uh, so we can make three more wheels and see if we can get this thing to work as intended. All right, I think we're all set to give it an official try now. I think I've built it to what my end game was for its design. We got the wheels on top, we got the wheels on bottom, and hopefully this is gonna be enough to shoot this saw blade out. I really don't know what to expect though. Are we on max speed right now? Here, let's try slow speed first, just to see how much the wheels themselves do. And then we'll try max speed. And just in case of any glitchiness, we're gonna go ahead and cover the top here. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, go! All right. As you can see, that works absolutely terribly. <laughs> Unfortunately, and I'm pretty sure all the bearings are going in the correct direction to shoot it out. I just don't know why it gets stuck there. Let's try it with a actual piece of metal. I'm just gonna put this piece of metal down here and let's see if this gets shot out at a slow piston speed. Ready? That kind of worked, but I'm a little bit concerned that the suspension method that I used here is actually hurting me more than helping me rather than just having these up by a block and having that space in there. I don't know. I'm gonna make an adjustment with these and see what kind of difference it makes. All right, so now I've adjusted it so that there is an exactly one block gap, as you can see, between the top and the bottom wheels. And these bottom wheels, I'm not even sure are going to be making that much contact. But let's see if this makes a difference. And then I'll delete these bars because I feel like they might actually be hurting me more than helping me. But let's see what happens with this now. And go! All right, well, now it goes out. The problem is the wheels seem to add, add zero momentum to it. So now what happens if we do fast? All right, and go! All right, we have our glitching issue again. I think I have to do my cover for the top of this to contain the saw blade. All right, like that. All right, and go! Uh, nope, saw blade totally glitched in there. All right, what about mid, mid speed? Okay, and go! All right, that was okay. Oh no, come back. Come back, saw blade, come back! All right, well, out of curiosity, let's see how this adjustment affects this thing. Okay, and go! See, that is better, I think. I think it's better with this. 
than it is this actual saw blade. Here, let me remove, let me remove these bars here. All right, and go. Yeah, that has some momentum. I think the only other option that I want to try now is I want to try to move these wheels closer together so that there isn't a gap in between them and maybe that'll just be less likely to mess up. So I'm gonna get rid of these gaps and I'm just gonna shift all the wheels in by a block. All right, I've made my adjustment. You can see all the wheels, they don't have a gap in between them anymore. So I'm hoping this is going to add to the reliability and decrease the chances of the saw blade or whatever. I'm gonna be launching a, a block first on this one because that's gonna help me determine the actual wheel contact because I think they're all spinning in the right direction, but so I welded them. So sometimes that messes with the bearing, how the bearing uh, rotation depiction works. But we're gonna go nice and slow. And that is interesting. I would expect that to go faster out. I don't know why that doesn't go faster. Oh, look at that. See, the wheels closest to the seat, they're actually spinning backwards, even though they have the same orientation as the other ones. So that's what I'm talking about there. So now are they all spinning in the same direction? This top one here has to go in that direction. Okay. All right, I think they are all going in the appropriate direction now. Let's give this a try again. All right, now that I can't see anything, let's go ahead and put our brightness up. All right, here we go, come on. Do good this time. No, that's not good. Not doing good. I'm gonna go back to the piston method, but I'm gonna use one piston for all of these wheels. All right, gonna put our protective casing on top and prepare for a glitch and go. Hey, I think that was our best yet. All right, should we try it on an actual hay bot now that it's daytime? Let's do it. We're gonna do saw blade first, and then we'll do a uh, piece of metal. We'll see if we can actually get a kill. I really, really don't. We're probably, they're probably gonna destroy some of this vehicle when this happens. I really doubt we're gonna get anything productive out of this, but that's what experiments are all about. We're going in with no expectations, and we're here to see what the results end up being anyway. All right, let's uh, find ourselves a haybot. I'm gonna go away from my base to find a haybot because I do not want to deal with the lag of my base right now. All right, here we go. Any bets on whether this is even gonna do damage? All right, here he comes. Here he comes, and go! He's, it's not even, fa he just backs away from it. Are you kidding me? Hey, can you hold on for, hold on, hold on. Just, can you hang on right there for a second? I just need to reload. Just give me a second. Hold on. Hey, bot, just hang out. Just let me reload, okay? Yeah, you stay there. I'm just... I'm just gonna reload. You just stay right there, okay? Don't do any damage. Oh, I left my saw blade over there. Don't... No, don't you hit... Don't you hit my vehicle, hey, bot. You better not hit the vehicle at all. Okay, all right. Thank you. Thank you, hey, bot. All right, you ready? Here we go. Get him! <laughs> he literally dodges it. <laughs> Oh, this is the worst weapon ever. All right, hey! You don't, don't you dare hit the car. All right, uh, let's see here. Now we're gonna try, we're gonna move on to new, new weaponry, new ammunition. All right, all right, here you go, Haybot. Here you go, Haybot, ready? Eh! I don't know, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me! All right, you hold on, Haybot, I just gotta reload one more time. I don't know what happened. I couldn't tell from all the noises if he actually got hurt or not. All right, here we go. No, you hold on, hold on. You know, you don't do one, don't, you just stay right there, okay? I'm just gonna reload real quick. Don't hit nothing. You don't hit nothing. You just give me a chance to reload. No cheating. No cheating now. All right, um, these are on a good speed. Okay, you ready, hey bot? You ready? All right, come at me, come at me. And, no, no, not quite, not quite, not quite. Why are you going around that? That's where the saw blades are. Go! Oh, that would have been awesome if it hit him. Oh, man. Ah, oh, man. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. And go! I don't think that's even doing any damage to him. Do these not work as well in survival mode as they used to in creative? Like, I've totally made weapons that use wheels to push an object through like this before. And I, I they seem to be pretty good at propelling things. I don't know why it seems so terrible right now. Okay, okay, come on. All right, ready, 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 you ready, buddy? You ready? No, no, no. You ready? All right, yeah, there we go. All right, yeah, I don't think that's doing anything. Was it doing something? Cause that seems like a not very strong hit and he just 
exploded. Maybe we were slowly doing damage to him, actually. Oh, here's another one. All right, you want to help out? You want to be a test subject, too? All right, and go. That must have done some damage, right? Like, at least something. Here, here, follow me over here. All right, I'm going to do this until a Haybot gets destroyed by this actual weapon, okay? Cool thing. All right, and shoot! Oh, we knocked him out! We actually knocked him out! That's something! That's actually something! This is gonna do it. This is gonna do it. This next shot. Watch this. Watch this. You hang on there, Mr. Haybot. You got something coming for you right now. If you just, just be patient, you just wait for this. You won't even know what hit you. Even though it's the same thing that's been hitting you for the past five minutes. All right, here we go, Mr. Haybot. Here we go. Just don't walk into my vehicle. All right, and we're almost there. Almost, almost lined up. No, no, no. No, and, eh. Yeah, yeah, we knocked him out. We're doing something. We're making progress. Don't hit my vehicle, please. I'm gonna use a saw blade on this one. That's how much I'm feeling this right now. We're using a saw blade. We're gonna kill you with a saw blade launcher. That is what's happening right now, Mr. Hey. Oh no, he's gonna avoid the saw blade. I, f I forgot that's what he does. Ready, go. Oh, <gasps> we did it. We hit him with the saw blade. It deflected all the way over there. That actually kind of worked. And he gave us a component kit. <laughs> this is the most pathetic weapon. I've ever- I've made a handful of weapons to defeat bots with in this game, and this is definitely the worst one by far. It's the least practical, it is the slowest, and it does the least amount of damage. I want to do that again, though. We're gonna kill- let's go for a greenie this time. All right, here we go. Found myself a greenie right here. Let's load it up with a saw blade and see what happens. All right, I'm pretty sure even if I hit him, this wouldn't be a one-shot kill anyway, but I'm hoping that something good's gonna happen here. All right, excuse me, greenie. Can you- you're gonna get hurt by my vehicle if you get too close. All right, ready and go! I don't know if that hurt him, but it hit him. That's all that, no, that's not all that matters. Hurting him is actually all that matters. So let me do this, all right, and go! Yes, that was the sound of pain! <laughs> I mean, he's a robot, so he probably doesn't feel pain, but that's his reaction to the stimulus of getting damaged. All right, this is good progress. This is good progress. We've done some damage, some actual auditory damage to a bot with just the saw blade. So the original idea is still, okay, that's not at all how that was supposed to work. All right, hold on. There we go, let's just reload it and go. Yes, we knocked him over too. We knocked him over. This is working. <laughs> uh, this may not be quite as epic and amazing as I initially envisioned it was going to be, but we can't say this was a complete failure, especially after this hit right here. You ready? I... I think we hit him. Wait, where'd the saw blade go? Where'd the... I thought the saw blade went over here. Oh, there it is. It went through the ground, apparently. All right, hold on. Let me just get my ammo back. It's gonna be the one. This is the kill shot. This is the kill shot. And go! Yeah! That looked as legit as it can get. It actually had some distance away from us, and the saw blade bounced off of it and killed it. So that is what I wanted to do. I wanted to kill a bot using a saw blade launcher. And it may have been quite a pathetic saw blade launcher, but it was a saw blade launcher nonetheless. That saw blade went through the air, it made contact with a bot, and that bot is no longer alive because of those particular events happening in that particular order. So I'm gonna say that that was an uh, underwhelming success. Normally, I like to say overwhelming success, but that was definitely an underwhelming success, if anything would qualify as an underwhelming success. <laughs> All right, so of course, Hank is still nowhere to be found around here. So remember, we now have official Hank merch on the store. So if you want to get yourself some Hank merch at 10% off this weekend only, use code PUMPKIN10, all capital letters, on the merch store using the link down below. And then if Hank does in fact come back in a future episode, Everyone who bought merch can then claim at least some fraction of responsibility for that. So thank you all for the support on the channel and this series in particular. If you want to make sure you haven't missed any episodes in this series, go ahead and check out this playlist on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye!